Hi my friends, very nice to see you. As I checked the weather maps, I spotted a fantastic weather anomaly for tomorrow morning, so I have the chance to get a really powerful photograph. Yeah, it's, it's uh, quite tricky to be honest, uh, to predict the exact timing. It could be that the time where I can take the shot in the end will shift for three or even four hours apart. So in that case, I, I would have to stay in strong rain for multiple hours. But I think I will risk it because when everything works as I hope, the photograph could, could get something really outstanding. So before we go out now to work on the composition, just quickly, let me show you what I have found. So I, I saw this rain front here on the weather maps. It will move from west-northwest towards our camera position. And this is in the morning and uh, the sunlight will come from the northeast. And so I picked out a place where I hope that I could photograph towards southwest and towards south. I need a Worcester in both directions actually. Just, you know, when the weather front comes from a slightly different direction, it could be that, yeah, my prepared composition will not work and also the interaction with the light. And so I picked out Lake Almsey. I've been here already last year where I tried to find a spot where my grandfather painted one of his paintings, what is already decades ago. And today I have a totally different approach. Today the weather maps led me here actually. And I would say, let's go out, let's have a look if there's a place which offers me the possibility for two compositions from the area of one camera position actually. It is so hot here, it is absolutely amazing. So I found already a rough spot. I mean, yeah, I, I'm not 100% happy with it. It's not bad. It's just, you know, it's all about uh, finding a composition in that direction um, and also in, in that direction. So um, then that's really tricky because we don't have all too much space here. We can walk here through here. We have uh, the leaves up there. So we have to, do, to go quite low here when we want to photograph through there. And it's just a few steps here in that direction to photograph there. If we don't get elements, uh, distracting elements at the left hand side. Um, I mean, it, it, it works. It's not ideal for both directions, I have to say. I was really thinking about where we'll uh, place these trees here there at the left hand side. I will not uh, take the, the right hand one in, they, they cross the lines up there. Um, they left beside work there. And the thing is, the weather front will come from the right hand side tomorrow. And the light will come from the left hand side. So this is a really fantastic combination. And um, when we have luck, we also need a tiny bit of luck to be honest, because you know, when uh, there's a little bit of a tongue in the, in the cloud that comes a little bit early in front of us, it will not be possible to photograph uh, towards uh, this vista. Uh, it is better when it really comes from behind there so that we have clear view back there to the mountains and also to this uh, clouds, uh, this uh, rain front and so on. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed there. It's predicted like that, but yeah, it's never 100%, you know, uh, predictions never 100%. So um, I think I will anyway try it a little bit uh, more in that direction. But what, what, what I'm missing here for, for this composition here, and to be honest, uh, in, into the south is, I don't have anything at the left hand side to, to balance my scene. It's really, it's really uh, we would need really bright light here at the left hand side uh, to, to balance it. Or we, we would get any, yeah, any, any log in or something like that. Here is lots of dead wood down there. It will not work here, maybe a little bit more back there. Um, this is what I will check out now. And also one thing I'm not happy in that direction is when we look at this uh, peak back there. And this is this peak what I photographed already last year. It got amazingly illuminated and the light came up uh, from, from left there and it, it really started to glow. Just this peak there. This is uh, a big uh, ant rock. <laughs> and they actually really called like that because it looks like a, a big um, yeah, an ant hill or something like that. I'm not sure about that. And uh, yeah, it's really fantastic. But when you look above it, there is a little bit of a mountain to see up there. I mean, it's not bad, but it's a little bit too, not, 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 it's not enough. So we, we would want to have it a little bit more and then it would look really fantastic. So either we would go closer, what's not possible, because we have the water there, or we had to go a little bit more in that direction, but yeah, <laughs> there's the woodland. However, this does not work. So I will go a little bit more in that direction and let's, let's have a look what's possible there. I came a little bit more in that direction and uh, yeah, what should I say, more crossing lines now here from these trees here at the left hand side and uh, yeah, I mean I also, I also like these trees at the right hand side, we don't really have all too many trees there 
uh, really that, that are really outstanding here that pop out and make a fantastic balance to the left hand side or so or the end the image uh, it's really missing here and here we also don't have the best possibility to photograph in that direction because of that tree here we have to walk into the water here so it's not really, it's not really the best thing here um, yeah let's, let's have a look behind that corner back there It doesn't really get better here to be honest so when we look back there <laughs> the, um, the hill or the rock back there is totally hiding behind all the trees so you can't really photograph there i mean it's, it's maybe also fantastic with the trees without this rock back there but uh, yeah it's it's uh, really distracting all the all the lines are crossing there it's uh, it's not really pleasing here and yeah we were here always this uh, these trees here in, in in front um i think i will maybe go a little bit more back there and yeah, I would need anything. I mean, it wasn't really fantastic uh, at the first place where I've been. Uh, just as that thing up in the, at the hill and, and, and also that's the thing that I don't have anything on the left hand side for the other direction. Maybe I will try it a little bit more, more in that direction. Uh, so yeah, fingers crossed that we will find something that will work in the end. Oh man, I'm really, really struggling. I mean, the position where I've been at the first doesn't look all too bad. It's just not ideal in both directions. And now here I found something that's fantastic for just that direction, but it doesn't work into that direction. And uh, you know, I have to, to react really quickly to, to the light maybe tomorrow or to the, to the weather situation actually. And it could be that uh, I'm not fast enough that I'm down then there that I run down when I when I see it doesn't work in that direction it's more really something like oh it doesn't work here let's build up that uh, composition and uh, let's take the shot something like that I think this will not really work I think in this case it's better to, to choose for that for that place where I have just one composition and I, I can really nail this one the only thing when the weather and light doesn't uh, fit together with this place I will come up I will come home with no photograph but when it works, I will come home with a really great photograph. And back there, I will just come back with an average or with two, with two average shots, actually. So I think it's better to come here tomorrow morning. What I also think is, as yeah, it's around about um, 45 hours to sunset or something like that. I think maybe we will get a little bit of Alpen glow up there. I'm just not sure about the composition. It's really, really difficult. So maybe I will. I uh, tried from from back there and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's blue sky the Sun is going down back there. It will be front light. So we will not have all too much of, of texture in the in the foreground or so It's really all, all about the, the red or the orange light up there in the mountain and uh, the framing with the uh, ant rock at the right side and uh, the other mountain at the left hand side well, Let's try for that So I brought my camera already into setup and uh, I'm back there at this uh, kind of uh, bridge back there and um, yeah what I thought is because you know the sun is going down back there or it, it's set already and um, what I thought is we could get an amazing open glow on this mountain the only problem is I uh, <laughs> look at the, the, the weather maps not the weather maps the weather radar and what I've seen is there are cumulonimbus clouds so this, there's a, a weather front already in Germany in southern Germany and this is a really big problem now it blocks the light but what 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 could happen is that it moves a tiny bit uh, more to the north and then it would get an amazing up and kill. I'm not sure what will happen uh, it's uh, the biggest problem um, I thought maybe we will try for that uh, if it doesn't work I have to shot for tomorrow morning but <laughs> the real problem now is when this low comes already uh, close here to us overnight maybe the weather front for tomorrow morning uh, will not come so this would mean the amazing conditions I was hoping for uh, would not appear and I would just have clear sky or something like that. I'm not sure about that, what happens tomorrow morning. I will anyway wait, I think half an hour or something like that. Uh, if yeah, there happens anything, if not, I will go to my van and uh, yeah, I will sleep and uh, we will see how the weather will get tomorrow. So fingers crossed. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't work with the Alpen kill. And I'm not sure what will happen really tomorrow morning. Ah, the weather changed. That's not good. That's not good. But yeah, however, I'm here now. I will anyway try it. I have to get up, I think, at uh, around about four o'clock uh, in the morning. So that's quite early. Mm, yeah, I will go there 
and fingers crossed that it's anyway possible to get a fantastic photograph. So now quickly a five star dinner and fingers crossed for tomorrow morning. Maybe it's not a five star dinner, but fingers crossed that we will get a five star photograph tomorrow morning. So the good news is the weather front really came. The bad news is it's in the middle of the night, so I'm not sure what will happen tomorrow. I mean, what I think is maybe we'll have atmospheric conditions, maybe a little bit fog, maybe clouds are coming up, something like that. Uh, I'm not sure if they will come in the second weather front, to be honest. Uh, I have no idea. I would say I will try to sleep here now as much as it is possible, <laughs> to be honest. And uh, yeah, I will try to make out the best possible. Ah, a very good morning. <laughs> the weather doesn't look all too promising, to be honest. I don't look already. Um, not on the weather maps, it's not a good idea to look at the weather maps um, in a situation like that because weather maps are always processed uh, all six hours and this means they also take six to eight hours that they are produced and uh, yes, the weather got mixed totally new, it's, it's a new situation the weather maps are lying in the moment and so what I did is I had a look at uh, the weather radar and um, what you can see at the weather radar is um, actually that there are clouds moving from um, the west towards the east and the, the fast ones, uh, the, the, the high level clouds, because they are they're closer to the camera, the camera is the satellite obviously, and um, the slower, uh, low level clouds, middle level clouds and so on, the slower they are, the they more they are down at the earth. And we don't want to have low level clouds blocking our sunlight from the northeast. The sunlight comes from the northeast uh, in this time of the year and unfortunately, I think that way we can see these uh, really, yeah, saturated white areas. Uh, I think that there is, uh, yeah, it really looks after totally cloudy. Uh, so it's uh, overcast there and we have uh, low level, middle level, high level clouds there. And when I have a look at um, uh, the, the radar for, for the rain, uh, for, the, for the rainfall, um, I, can, I can also see that, uh, yeah, we have exactly <laughs> rain there. It's not good. It's really not good. So I thought usually I had gone already outside photography, but I have cereals here now and um, a coffee. Um, I will take this here now. I will eat this, um, and then I will anyway go there because we don't know if it will not resolve there. The chance is really not high. I don't want to lie here. The chance is really low. The chance was already yesterday evening low. Uh, so for the, for the yesterday evening shot. But anyway, I think um, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I will try to make the best out of it, and um, yeah, fingers crossed that it will happen something amazing. Now let's imagine a situation like we have planned a fantastic photo day and a really beautiful place, and the conditions will get outstanding. <laughs> And you, you see that the weather turns and yeah, everything gets hopeless. And to be honest, it's not all totally difficult for me in the moment uh, <laughs> to imagine a situation like that. Um, but the question is, what can we do anyway to save this photo day? Or let's say anyway to get out a fantastic photograph maybe. And the thing is, yeah, I mentioned this already yesterday uh, in the night. Uh, I'm not, not sure how, how late it was. I, yeah, I, th I thought that there could be lots of atmospheric conditions, a little bit of uh, mist rising there, and well, I saw already a little bit of mist back there. So, yeah, it's, it's a little bit later now than I uh, originally wanted to go to the spot, but yeah, it's much darker, and uh, I don't think that we will get the direct sunlight. Although, when the sun gets a little bit higher, we don't know what really will happen, and this is what I meant in the very beginning. It could be. Uh, at the timing where I can take a fantastic photograph could yeah, shift four hours apart or something like that. Uh, the weather situation is different, 
but it could also it could it could, it could anyway work just in a different way and um, yeah I would say fingers crossed that it's anyway possible to get out a fantastic photograph. I picked out the gap uh, where it didn't rain when I came over here to this spot and it started to rain here now again. The rain came exactly from uh, right beside this, uh, this peak back there and I, I got the shot short before the rain came in. Um, I got a nice reflection here, now we don't get a reflection anymore obviously because yeah, it's raining here. Um, I don't have a circular polarizer here on because I wanted to get uh, yeah, really all the mist and uh, all these atmospheric conditions in. A uh, polarizer kills all these, uh, these atmospheric conditions, this is the reason therefore. I was, I was, yeah, I was just fine-tuning the composition, I wasn't really finished to be honest, but uh, yeah, anyway, I will show you the photograph uh, right now. It is absolutely unbelievable, but I got a shot now. And as you can see now, I'm not at the same spot as before. I, I spotted this, um, this fog back there in the distance. I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, there's a little bit of atmospheric conditions and this, this looks really fantastic. It, it, it adds a sense of depth here uh, to this scene. And uh, when we look in that direction, where I wanted to photograph through, everything is a little bit flat and so. It stopped to rain, as we already predicted before. And uh, yeah, I thought it's better to photograph in that direction, but this tree was in, in front and I just thought, hey, I have a fantastic uh, view from, from this uh, a bridge here. I just come here and I just grabbed the camera and here and uh, yeah, I took the shot, obviously. So, that's really cool. I mean, we don't have direct sunlight and it's so important to understand we don't necessarily need direct sunlight. Direct sunlight is fantastic uh, for the one or other compositions, for many compositions maybe, but not always and not necessarily. The clouds I have seen in the in the in the weather maps, not in the weather maps, in the weather radar in, in my van before. Um, yeah, I think they are a little bit higher. This is more in the east here where the sun gets blocked. But here it's, it's really thin. It's just a, a thin layer of clouds uh, and low-level clouds. And uh, maybe when I wait here now for um, let's say two hours or something like that, it could be that you get sunlight breaking through. And it, it depends definitely totally on that where the sunspot will. We go on. We need to go on on, on uh, <laughs> Art Rock, like it was last year. It was amazing, but we don't know this exactly. Well, let's go back there and uh, let's hope that that will happen. Anything outstanding. Now, I also found the composition with Art Rock. Meanwhile, when we have a look back there, this uh, greenish part up there looks really saturated and and brighter as everything else there and uh, this it looks a tiny bit like a like a light spot it isn't really a light spot i mean it catches the light it gives us a more saturation and it, it it draws our eyes back there and what i also like is that the, the most difficult thing in the moment here is the water to be honest uh, what i also really like is we get um, a little bit of um, yeah floating water here and uh, this also leads in, the, in a little bit of uh, yeah motion blur when i when i expose long enough so it looks really fantastic with all these lines here in the foreground and uh, yeah, we every time we have this steaming there and we're in the landscape, it looks really, really fantastic. And I would say, let's make the click.
the water got a little bit more calm and uh, it looks really fantastic. We get the reflection as well. And what I've done is I, I've gone up uh, as high as, as possible here. Uh, yeah, it's allowed to, uh, to pull the, the middle column out. It's, it's, not, it's, not, uh, it's not forbidden, <laughs> you can do that. It's really not a problem. And now I get also these reflections of, of the trees there. When I'm too low, the problem is we have this really bright part here in the, in the foreground. We also can see lots of fishes uh, in there. I'm not sure if you can see them. Um, but this is really distracting here. The reflection goes also a little bit in there. Uh, this is something, yeah, I didn't spot yesterday, to be honest. So um, the light was different. Um, it, it didn't look like that. Uh, however, I, I can't change this here now, but what I could, ch what I was able to change, I, I've gone higher, I get the trees in, and uh, yeah, this leads to a really fantastic photograph. So, let's make the click. Now I came a little bit more uh, before I was more back there, uh, but my back is still back there, I'm not sure if you can see it. And what I've spotted is behind um, the art rock here, uh, the left hand side of it, it's already over, but there came a rain front through and I got this nice isolation uh, from art rock to the mountain back there. And uh, I used this to get this fantastic scene here at the right hand side with all the the mountains back there and this hill here at the right hand side and this nice reflection. I came over here because I get rid here a little bit with the reflection issue. So, you know, it's a little bit, uh, yeah, not, not, uh, not deep enough here. Uh, it's too bright and here it's a little bit darker so we don't have this uh, crossing line here of, uh, of the reflection. It's really, really better. And I took the shot already and I will show it to you right now. one more composition and uh, what I found is this baby tree here. I mean I spotted it yesterday already when I came along here. It's really sweet, it's growing here up on, on this uh, root here actually, it's really amazing. And um, I, I take it in my foreground and also some of these uh, lines here of these bushes here. Yeah, and it's difficult to, to make something like that to be honest because uh, you have to be careful that yeah, it's not, it's, not, it's not all too much of chaos down there, that it's not distracting. And um, I think I come away with that in, in this composition. And um, what I've done is I take uh, rock, ant rock back there, so in, into my frame. This is uh, my distant element or my, my subject more or less. And in my foreground, I have this baby tree, but it's really fantastic, pointing a little bit, a little bit right, a tiny bit. Uh, yeah, we, we come a little bit more in that direction. We go to this um, distant mountains back there, the flow now, and it goes over here, around here with the, with the uh, lines in the sky and so on. And yeah, it's really, it's really fantastic. I really like this. The clouds are fantastically reflected in the lake and it's a really fantastic mood. I really, really like this. Now it starts to steam back there, everything comes up and when we look up there, we get also a little bit of blue sky up there. It's a little bit too much at our side, we need it a little bit more in the, in the, in the distance, but it is how it is. Anyway, we get a fantastic light here now onto the landscape and I would say that the sky, the sky is also amazing with this line here from the, from the left, uh, left corner up there. It's really, really amazing, I would say. Let's make the click.
So in the end, I got some photographs and yeah, I'm totally convinced if the weather had got as I had predicted, <laughs> I had got a really fantastic photograph, an outstanding one. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not sad, maybe a tiny bit, <laughs> I'm not sure. The question is, have I rescued my photo today? It's a good question. What do you think? Leave me a comment below. And my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please give me a thumb up. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.